Hello Internet, this is Marchers with Munchies Food Review. My name is Weston. Mal Lewis isn't here on this late evening at basically midnight. Uh, I decided we'd do a food review. It's been a little while since we've done anything here on the channel. And, you know, what better to do before we spring break when there's nothing to do in Ohio than do a food review. So, today's item is very special. It's very different, very new, but take a good take on a classic fast food item. It's not really even a fast food item, it's more or less a store bought item. Uh, we've done some store bought items in the past, they've mostly been on live streams, but this is the first time we're going to be doing a review. So, before we get this started, make sure to click that like and that subscribe button, and to give us feedback and suggestions on how we can improve the channel. But, without further ado, on to the review. So, Coca-Cola, a classic drink that we all know and love, have grown up with, and some of us, you know, might be Pepsi fans, we can still respect the honor that comes with Coca-Cola. Personally, I'm more of a Pepsi fan, but that's just based on personal taste. Just everyone's got their own opinion. But I'm gonna still be as unbiased as possible because I understand that food and drinks and everything around it are different for everyone. Um, it's hard. To, it's hard. To, hard to say that. Really, uh, you know, it's just like food itself is is an interesting product. Different, you know, things can come out at different times to reinvent something new. You can either come up with something brand new that no one's ever thought of before and make it your own, or you can rebrand it. And that's what, that's what Coca Cola has recently done. Um, as many of you may have seen, there is the ad right now for the Orange Cream Coke, and uh, I will be doing a food review on that in the near future with Lewis, if, I can, if, him, if our schedules can align, they've been kind of iffy lately, because he's been in robotics, I've been working, but still, nevertheless, we're going to give you guys a good as heck food review. Uh, so, tonight I was able, I went over to Kroger, just doing a little browsing after the workout at the gym, and I found this, and it's really caught my eye, and it's going to be really hard to do. This is a uh, Diet Coke. They've recently came out, come out with a, with a wide variety of flavors. Uh, I think they have mango, strawberry, peach, and then they got this flavor I got right here. Uh, blueberry Acacia. It's this solid, thin, you know, silver can. Uh, it might be a lot of like a Red Bull can almost, and just like the way it's like, set up in this thin, tall canister. It's got this little stripe right there. As you can see, the, the Coca-Cola Diet Coke probably was written like that. That Coca-Cola, but you know, it's got little blueberries right there. Uh, it's got the little, little uh, thing right there too. The little classic Coca-Cola Diet Coca-Cola Diet Coke uh, emblem. Uh, it is zero calories, uh, one serving of uh, It's got 35 milligrams of sodium. So I mean, if you're trying to cut back on sodium, it's probably not the best idea for you to drink. But um. Yeah. It's got 60 milligrams of 2% potassium. You know, who knew you could drink a can of soda and get the same value of a banana? We're just going to crack that open, though. Smelling it. It gives off a nice aroma. Very tart. Uh, you might kind of want to see that depending on, on what you look for in a blueberry flavor. Personally... I'm surprised blueberry has not been utilized more in foods. Um, so, I mean, we're going to just give this a try. So, bottoms up to uh, blueberry acacia Coca Diet Coca-Cola. I'm not sure if you can hear this or not. You can hear the crackling of the can. It's pretty t it's pretty satisfying to look at it. Not gonna lie. So, I'm just going to do this real quick, too. I'm going to chug this thing a little bit, you know, get, get the nice bubbles flowing in the throat. Okay. 
So, Blueberry Diet Coke. I think that this product is taking the classic flavoring of Diet Coke that we all come to know and love, and it adds something different to it. My biggest problem with Coca-Cola over the years is that as you drink it, you kind of just get like this, this like coating over your tongue that, that you know, affects your ability to taste food. With this, I don't get that. I get, you know, a nice uh, tart tonage to the Coca-Cola that just takes that coating that you would normally get on the tongue and just slides it right down the throat. Uh, once again, it does smell like, you know, artificial blueberry flavoring, but I'm not going to be a judge of that. I'm not going to say that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I will say it is very it is a very interesting taste. It reminds me a lot of... Uh, Like that blue, what, the one blue flavor of uh, Mountain Dew, the blue lightning strike or whatever, the, I don't even know the name of it, I think it's like blue shock, blue wave, I don't even know. Reminds me a lot of that, but mixed with Diet Coke. I think it's pretty good though, I mean, considering that it is Coca-Cola, it is very good. Um, it is different, it's different from what you would expect, it really is. Uh, you don't get, you, you get what you pay for, I guess, in the sense that it does have a distinct flavoring of blueberry, but at the same time still taps into that classic Coca-Cola flavor, and I, I like that a lot. Um, but other than the initial taste, you don't really get an aftertaste to it, and that's really kind of unsatisfying. That does pull it back just a little bit, and the reason I say that is because when drinking it, when tasting it, it, uh, it affects its ability, I guess, to give that full blueberry taste, uh, that you would come to expect. It, it, it isn't as long-lasting, it's kind of like a little, like, oh, I'm here, goodbye, like, that kind of thing. It's just, it really does affect, uh, you know, just the experience, I guess. Um, once you're done taking the sip, there's no aftertaste, and you can't really enjoy it, you know. I could probably, like, Yeah, it, it it's de it's decent. It tastes like just blueberry mixed with cola. You know, one of those that blue Mountain Dew just mixed with Coca Cola. I think it's pretty good. It's decent. Um, but once again, I would recommend that they do add some more flavor to that. But besides that, I'd have to probably rate this a solid, you know, good good maybe seven, maybe an eight out of ten. You know, I think it's got some qualities to it, but it could leave some room for improvement, but besides that, I think it's a pretty decent product. I would recommend it to anybody who's looking for to uh, change up their soda drinking habits. But without further ado, my name is Weston Mala. Thank you so much for watching March of the Munchies. Make sure to like and subscribe, share this video around, and uh, you guys have a wonderful evening, day, morning, whatever time of day you are in. If you're not even in, you know, our time space continuum, you're in some distant universe in the future, and you're in some ultimate dimension where days and times doesn't matter and exist. Enjoy your plane of existence, I guess? I don't know. But without further ado, thank you.